Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Uh, Thursday means it only means one thing, it's my match preview for the Brighton and Southampton game at St Mary's this coming Monday. Uh, we've played each other once already, so it's our second South Coast derby in a matter of weeks. I think we played about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago in the EFL Cup. Uh, the result did go our way, but um, I'm not too concerned the way that happened. It weren't our first team, and yet again, I'd just rather focus on the league again this season. Who knows, we might have a little run in the FA Cup later this year. But until then, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, I'm going to start off with our next five games. Obviously this will be the last time I do the five games uh, in the future, I'm just going to say how teams got on in their five games previous to this. So the next game which will be uh, West Ham, uh, sorry, no, Tottenham, sorry. Uh, Tottenham at home, it'll just be uh, what I've done over the last five games. Uh, but anyway, this is our next five games. As I've just said, we've got Spurs at home, City away, West Ham at home, Newcastle away, Wolves at home. Now, look at that. Uh, we have got a couple of tough games coming up. There's no point denying it. Uh, we draw against Spurs last season, which was part of our survival. Um, we lost to City away. Uh, we lost them at home as well. Uh, favourite title holders um, to retain it. Uh, then West Ham, yeah, ain't got no points at the minute. Um, I can't really see where they're going to get off the mark at this minute in time. Uh, Newcastle away, possible three points. And then Wolves at home, which is yet again another tough game. Um, everyone is expecting them to be well. Which in my case scenario that we're not we're not under pressure of with that Wolves game with the expectation that Wolves have gone themselves. Uh, Southampton's next five games, Liverpool away, Wolves away, Everton away, Chelsea at home, Bournemouth away. I can't believe they've got three games away already, so at some point they will have three home games in a row. Um, but for us, it's after up to three points and possibly will be more important to us. Uh, I can see a few games where Southampton could pick up the points. Um, but then I'll also say the same about us. So I still, as I said, I reckon it's slightly more important if we pick them up. Um, last time we met, it was a one all draw. Last time this fixture played was the last time we met and as I've just said it was a one-all draw. Um, very dodgy games I thought last season at home and away. Uh, I remember seeing that, that weak goal down here. Um, but the way it goes. Anyway guys, this is my one to eleven. In goal I'll go with Matthew Ryan. Excellent keeper, uh, great goalkeeper. Uh, yeah, again, well done to all the and staff last season for getting them in. Uh, less lucky, really gonna push on now. Um, and right back, I've gone with uh, Martin Montoya. I ain't gonna drop anyone for him just yet. Uh, I think he is looking sharp. Uh, I mean, going up to Liverpool, he still looks skillful. So, that's why I'm sticking with right back. In centre back, now you two probably know who they already are, but just in case you don't, one is Shane Duffy, um, played for Ireland um, this international break, which no one really likes. I don't like it so close to when the season starts. I just wish they delayed it a bit further on and uh, to give us a shot to get into the league. Um, and then I uh, my next centre back is Lewis Dunk. Um, obviously coming back from injury, I wasn't expecting him to be straight in the squad against Fulham. It's 
took me by surprise. If you wonder where my match dog went, I was developing a goal, so I did decide to go. Um, and so I went to visit some family. Uh, I hardly get to see my family as it is. Um, but you're going to see some changes to my channel as well, so bear that in mind. Um, in left back, I'll go with Bong. Uh, love the guy. Brilliant player for the uh, standard that we are at this stage in the Premier League. It's only our second season in. Um, yeah, again, I ain't going to remove him. I don't think Bernardo's quite ready yet. Um, in left midfield, I'll go with uh, Soddy March. Now, Ischiato is supposed to be fit. Back in training, but past him making a start just yet. Uh, in centre, I'll go with De uh, Dale Stevens. Um, obviously, we haven't got a lot of choices around that department. I wish we had, did have a few more, but obviously we haven't, so we're going to have to live with that. Uh, and then my other centre mid is uh, David Popper. Uh, excellent Dutch player, uh, also played in the international break for Holland. Um, but yeah, again, it's time to get ready for club football. Um, in right mid, uh, Anthony Knockhart. Um, you're, you know, yeah, again, this year I was supposed to be back in training, but I can't see him coming straight back into the squad. Uh, so it will roughly be the same level against uh, Fulham. Um, that's what I'm expecting anyway. It might change on the actual day. But, you know, um, it is going to be interesting to see what team he puts out against Southampton. Uh, now, you know how I line this up. Behind the striker, I'll go with Pastel Gross. Now, there's a little bit of a rumour that Pastel Gross could be. Um, pushed out of the team when a Zuma gets comfortable with how he plays and uh, that sort of stuff. I really can't see it being pushed out. I reckon it's going to be Dale Stevens, if I'm all honest. Uh, I don't see why we would put Pat Patel goes in if we are going to push him out at some point in this early stage of his career at Brighton. Uh, and then that leaves me with the one off striker. Guys, I ain't got no other choice. Glenn Murray. Um, Florentine is supposed to be back in training. He is back in training, I've seen that. But yet again, I can't see him starting. Not yet. Uh, I think he's probably a bit behind. I think the next international break will be key whether he actually starts to play for the start or off the bench. Um, but anyway guys, this is my match with you guys, you know what to do. As I've said, I am going to change up a bit. Um, I will explain it in later stages. But, I'll have to change this channel around just ever so slightly. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.